Acute coronary syndrome occurs when the buildup of fatty deposits in and on the walls of the coronary arteries obstruct the blood supply to the heart muscle. Acute coronary syndrome may result in unstable angina or heart attack. Some of the common symptoms associated with acute coronary syndrome are chest pain or discomfort, pain or discomfort from the chest to the shoulders, arms, upper abdomen, back, neck or jaw, shortness of breath, sudden heavy sweating, nausea, lightheadedness, dizziness or fainting. There are various risk factors for acute coronary syndrome. Modifiable risks are being overweight or obese, medical conditions such as diabetes, hypertension and high cholesterol level, smoking. Non-modifiable risks are age, gender, ethnicity, family history of heart attack or stroke. With dietary modification, we can reduce risk for recurrence of acute coronary syndrome. Our food contains a mixture of different types of fats and these affect our cholesterol levels. These fats have different impact on your lipid profile. For example, saturated fat increases bad cholesterol level, trans fat increases bad cholesterol level and lowers good cholesterol level, and unsaturated fat can help lower bad cholesterol level. Saturated fats can be found in animal products such as fatty meat, poultry skin, butter, ghee, lard and full cream products. And plant sources such as palm oil, coconut oil and coconut milk. You can improve your lipid profile by cutting down on some processed foods which usually contain trans fat such as french fries, curry puffs, cakes and pastries. You can also improve your lipid profile by replacing saturated fats and trans fat sources with unsaturated fat sources. Good sources of unsaturated fats include oily fish, nuts like almonds, pistachio nuts, macadamia nuts, peanuts and seeds like sunflower seeds. Also, Use cooking oils with a higher proportion of unsaturated fats like canola oil, olive oil, soybean oil, sunflower oil, corn oil and sesame oil. A good guide to a healthy diet consists of replacing coconut milk with low-fat, skimmed, non-fat milk or yogurt in food preparation and cooking. Cutting down on gravy when eating out as most stalls and restaurants use palm oil in food preparation and cooking. Choosing lean meat over fatty meat. Removing skin from poultry before eating. Opting for protein foods such as fish, tofu and beans. Ensuring adequate dietary fibre by including two servings of fruits and two servings of vegetable and choose whole grain products as part of your daily balanced diet. Limiting cholesterol rich food intake such as egg yolk, organ meat and seafood. Reducing intake of high fat snacks like chips, chocolate, biscuits, cakes, fritters, kurpo and muruku. Generally, always remember to Check the food label on sections such as total fats for more information. Pick products with healthier choice symbol because these products are often lower in fats compared to similar products. Explore healthier cooking methods such as steaming, boiling, stewing or even air frying. Try to achieve and maintain your body mass index BMI within the healthy range of 18.5 to 22.9. BMI is a measure of the relationship between your weight and height to get the amount of body fat you have. Generally, the higher your BMI, the higher the amount of fat in your body. Consult your physiotherapist 
or doctor before you engage in any exercise. Last but not least, you can always ask your doctor to refer you to a dietitian for an individualized session. The dietitian will assess your nutritional status and dietary intake. Based on this comprehensive assessment, an individualized meal plan and dietary recommendation will be provided for you to reduce risk for recurrence of acute coronary syndrome.